YouTubers. Debunk a five here. All right, in this video we're going to be showing over Unity uh, again, except on this motor instead of the LEDs light here. And uh, let's turn that back on. All right, it's the exact same setup as last time. Uh, take a sip of coffee. All right, uh, I'm going to be showing, a, you know, we're, we're going to be showing a lot of videos here in the upcoming few weeks and months, and probably years, because this, this is the holy grail of physics, people. This proves more energy out than in. It took me a while, okay, to figure this out. But if you're viewing this in the incorrect way, you will always read under 100% efficiency, okay? But obviously, uh, if we can get more power out of a system than what we put into it. Oh, looks like our meters are trying to shut off. Alright, so we're going to take this LED off. That was placed in between the uh, two positives. And we're going to now power our motor. Alright. Uh, let me shut this off. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can connect this right. Yeah, there's not enough. Right. I gotta be back here in a second. I'm gonna place it right here in between the two positives. Do the meter too, in between the two positives here, just like that. So, be back in a. Okay, we're back. Uh, I got the motor plugged in here. Uh, it's just sitting in between the two positives here. So here's one side of the positive. It's going through this meter right here. The other side of the meter going through the motor, going back to the other positive. Same thing as before, negatives are connected together. I'm reading the voltage right here on this negative and positive over here for the output. Okay. Input, it's not on yet. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. The thing about this is, I've been waiting on parts from China uh, to replace these in here because these. Uh, a little bit fried so I haven't been able to adjust uh, the output voltage up higher than the input voltage uh, if I would be able to do this I would be able to do a lot more here okay uh, so that's the story on that so I haven't been able to adjust this if you've ever had a pot a potentiometer where you tune the knob uh, to vary the uh, resistance if you ever burnt that pot out, you'll notice that as you're turning the knob, it'll be like a little notch where it'll stick. And if you turn too far to the left or too far to the right, nothing will happen because you burnt the resistance out on each side of that point of being burnt. So that's what's going on in here. And so I can't adjust it to do what I need. So I'm really surprised I'm actually able to do this. Now, it seems like every load I put on this gives me like the same 116 percent it's because I can't adjust this yet okay I'm waiting on China I can't find anything here in America on eBay or Amazon so another thing is this uses a lot of power there's a lot of power flowing through here so I want to try to keep it on as long as I can uh, I'm doing it last because if it burns out well then that's it <laughs> it's already on video. Okay, so we're gonna uh, turn this on right here. And we're gonna, you're gonna have to look really carefully. Uh, I guess it's because I don't have a diode across here to protect the windings and stuff and from the uh, kickback spike, the collapsing magnetic fields, which I am not recovering right here. Okay, so it's a lot of power. It's not, it's gonna show a weird reading, but for the most part, DC current reading 
All right, so we're gonna try to look at this right now. as well you want to look at the input voltage well let's take it off our output place it over here on our input and same thing here for a positive right here turn it on voltage on the input is going to drop of course Like I said, there's two parts here. I'm not even measuring the, the wattage in here, just the current. I'm running, only reading the current running through this circuitry load and the motor. And then only reading the voltage over here. This side is across everything, across the load inside here, which is the circuitry and the motor. And they're in series. So of course, the current is going to be the same running through both through this meter. So, uh, calculate that input wattage here and output wattage, and you'll see it's still over unity. So, that, that's showing that I can run the motor with free energy. If you like this video, please uh, like it, share, please share. And uh, comment if you have any comments on this. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.